Okay, so we got the two tents up and all the tables. Now we're putting the chairs down. And I got these little happy birthday signs from Hobby Lobby. They were like $4, but one says happy and the other one says birthday and they have cute little rainbows on them. I got them in the party section. Super cute. And this one says happy. I got all of these iridescent table covers from Walmart. They were $3 each and they're reusable. I get them like every, like twice a year and then I use them for all the birthdays. I got um, shimmery pink and then a really pretty gold. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chrissy and I'm throwing my daughter's fourth birthday party. It is boho themed and it is so close to being time. Today is birthday day. I have previous vlogs in my other videos that I will link down below in the description box getting ready and leading up to this day. I do have a six month old, so if you hear him in the background, it's just little Max making some noise. I really enjoy memory making with my kiddos and I love throwing them birthday parties. I love throwing Valentine's parties. I love throwing Halloween parties. Any little chance or excuse that I get to throw a party for my children or my family and friends, I'm totally down for it. So on the menu for Sophia's fourth birthday party is chicken salad sandwiches. I bought the shredded chicken in big packages from Costco for around $15. I am putting in some mayonnaise. You can put in any kind of mayonnaise that you would like. And then I'm adding in some Johnny seasoning, salt and pepper, some cranberries, and some celery, you guys. And literally, it's the best, most simplest chicken salad you will ever have. You get the hearty seasonings and full flavored textures from the chicken and the seasonings and then you get a little bit of sweetness from the cranberries you guys oh my gosh so good since we are doing pink boho theme and she is a little girl i found these sweet aluminum pans from Party City. They were $3 and they were a big hit. Everyone asked where I got them from. Bonus mom hat guys. When you're done and the party's over, take the aluminum pink foil pans, wash them out, rinse them off, dry them off, and then you can use them again and again. They hold their shape and you can use them for your next party or your next hosting event. Every time I get the opportunity to make croissant sandwiches or turkey sandwiches and ham sandwiches, I love using the croissants from Costco. You get a 12 pack of them. They're huge and they're only $5.99. Well, my Costco is under construction right now. And sadly enough, when we got there in my previous vlog, you guys will see that since Costco is under construction right now, my Costco, they didn't have them available. They didn't even have the cakes to make. So I went to Winco and I got these ones and they turned out just fine. They were a little bit more expensive and a little bit more smaller than the Costco ones. But if you have the opportunity to get the Costco croissants when making these, definitely take advantage and get them. They are the biggest bang for your buck. They're worth the money and you guys, they are so bomb. How you make me feel inside Baby, 
Okay, so now on to my super yummy pasta salad. I do have three or four other birthday vlogs that are before this video in preparations the week ahead to this birthday party. Um, I did cook up the pasta. This is bonza chickpea pasta that I got from Costco that I am going to make my pasta salad with. You guys, the pasta salad is super yummy. It's super easy. It's super cheap. It's crowd pleaser and everyone loves it. And I am just cutting up some cherry tomatoes. I'm going to add a little bit of um, Italian seasoning and some balsamic vinegar and some seasonings. And then you can add feta cheese in here. You can add salami. I did forget to buy salami from the store or any type of Italian cuts and meat. So I did end up having to use some cold cuts, which was ham sandwich meat. But everyone loved it. It turned out great. Um, if there was one thing that I can do to change the recipe on this, I wouldn't use the bonza pasta, the chickpea pasta, because everyone said everyone loved the pasta. They loved the flavor, but the texture of the pasta was just off. I think because it was made out of chickpeas and I definitely wouldn't recommend the bonza pasta again. If you are going to do this recipe, definitely do it just like I am showing you in here. Add whatever you wanna add, but definitely cook it with a different type of pasta. Just some normal, regular, good old pasta, some 88 cent pasta that you can get from your local grocery store will do. I just don't recommend the bonza chickpea pasta. One thing that really took this pasta up a notch, in my opinion, with the saltiness flavor from it was Kalamata olives. It was so yummy, you guys. The Kalamata olives added such a nice layer of saltiness. It was so good. If you don't like Kalamata olives, cut it out. But like I said, this pasta recipe is super versatile. You can even empty out your refrigerator and add everything that's in your refrigerator in this pasta. It's literally balls to the wall and you can add whatever you want to add balls to the wall why did i just say that but you get what i mean As we'll see in a previous vlog that I put together a veggie tray there it is it has celery broccoli and carrots and my favorite way to make a ranch dressing dip for a veggie tray is to take some plain old sour cream and add some ranch seasoning to it you guys it's literally the best ever to dip your veggies in um, you can use light sour cream or you can use regular full cultured sour cream let me know down below in the comments if you make your veggie dip like this because it's so good. Nothing but sour cream and ranch seasoning packets. Just follow the recipe on the back of the packets. You guys, it's so good. I think I used a full container of 16 ounce sour cream and three tablespoons of ranch seasoning. I obviously eyeballed it as you can see in the vlog, but I've made it so many times that I kind of know the increments that we need to use to make it. Try it. Let me know if you tried it before, but next time you make a veggie dip, definitely make it this way. Again, sour cream and ranch seasoning packets. Me, 
My biggest tip I can give you when party planning is definitely make your cupcakes and your cake the day before. It takes off so much pressure. It doesn't make the kitchen hot and the whole house hot with the stove running or the oven running. It just makes everything easier. It makes life easier. It makes the day of the birthday or the event go way smoother. And I definitely, definitely recommend making your cake and cupcakes the day before. If you watch my Instagram stories of me during the party prepping, you will know the answer, but let me know and try to guess down below in the comments how many cupcakes do you think I made during this particular party. There was about 30 little kids and probably like 20 adults, so let me know down in the comments how many cupcakes do you think I had to make to feed all of the kids and the adults. You put my favorite song on I put my feet up And we just sing along And I can't help but feeling Just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here together? Shukri Marie came into the kitchen and said she wanted to take a picture of me so she captured the sweetest picture she's a really good camera and picture taker you guys she's only seven but she takes some really really awesome pictures and videos this picture that she took right now actually ended up in a reel it was so pretty and I loved it she took the most amazing picture probably the best picture of the whole day I watch you as you sleep you don't know I'm looking with you everything's complete do you know how much I love you after making these cupcakes I was cupcaked out I had two no three not even two I had three two tier cupcake stands and look how cute these cupcake choppers are you guys they will be linked down below in the description box I think they're so cute they are super 70s super boho there's rainbows and little trucks and peace signs and daisies I found these on Amazon I think for nine dollars but you get 24 of them you guys and they're super sturdy like you can actually take them out and reuse them we threw all of ours away but if you actually knew how to clean them off and like were sufficient with doing things like that you can definitely reuse these so cute look at the butterflies and the peace signs daisies you guys this was one of my favorite decors of all of the decorations for this party I loved these cupcake toppers. Sorry about the lighting and these um, clips, but yeah. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving All right. I have to put this out there because I know someone's going to say something about the way my dining room looks with all those boxes and the foil out and all that stuff all over the dining room table. You guys, everything that you see is part of the birthday party. My house does not be looking like that on the daily. It looks like a birthday party, a pink boho birthday party threw up in my dining room and that's where I was holding everything. That became my catch all for the last two weeks during this whole birthday party celebration. Just in case anyone's wondering, all that junk on the table and the chairs is part of the birthday party decorations. I want to give a big shout out to Marcus for helping me with all of the birthday party preparations. While um, we were getting everything ready, I want to give a huge shout out to Dee for helping me take care of the kids while I was um, getting ready for the birthday party. Marcus helped me with everything outside, you guys. He put up all the canopies and the tarps. He helped me with the tables and he helped me with so much stuff. I'm so thankful for him. Um, he helped me with the chairs and he helped me containing the kids. He even helped with the baby, you guys. It was so special for him to be in town and for him to celebrate his daughter's birthday. And I'm just so thankful 
so thankful for my co-parenting with Abdi and I'm thankful for my relationship with Marcus. I love both of them and I'm so grateful for both of them. So if you guys are watching, thank you so much for all you guys did for Sophia's birthday party. You guys saw in a previous birthday party prep vlog that I got these huge boxes of chips from Costco for around 10 or $11 and I actually went back and got more just for the summertime. They are good through next year so they're not going to expire anytime soon. They are 30 pack of Frito-Lay products for that price. So good you guys. They were a big hit at the party and who doesn't love, what little kid doesn't love to have their own little bag of chips and feel special at any event or a birthday party. These boxes, you guys saw me put them together in a previous vlog. Tedious, don't recommend them, but they are super cute and if you have the time and patience to put them together, I do recommend them if that makes any sense. The kids loved them. They did have a little bit of trouble opening them and keeping them shut after they opened them, but they added that little bit of extra boho look to the party and I am actually glad that I got them because I love the way that they look. So if you don't mind putting them together and having them fall apart sometimes when you do put them together, and you just want them for the aesthetic reasons and the way that they look, definitely get them and I will have them linked down below in the description box. Super cute little party packages. Look how sweetly everything is coming together. It is so aesthetically pleasing to see the same colors throughout the whole party scheme. You see the pink um, aluminum foil trays with the sandwiches, the pasta and the veggie trays inside. You see all three of the cupcake stands and then that number four that we got for $14 from Party City you guys that was definitely the big topper and that made everything super cohesive and come together beautifully and it was definitely worth the $14 or $15 that I paid for it from Party City and then if you also little mom hack do get balloons from Party City they'll deliver them for free in your city so let me know down in the comments where do you guys get most of your party supplies from I would love to know. I normally go to Target and get my party supplies and Party City, but I know Dollar Tree has great party supplies and Walmart has great party supplies. Look how cute everything is, you guys. I'm so excited for the whole finale. The party was amazing. Sophia had the best time of her life. Thank you so much for watching and being here and supporting me through all of this, you guys. Throwing a birthday party is not for the week. It is so much work, but it is so worth it in the end when you see your little person's face light up with joy. These are the memories that we're making for them. These are the mem memories and moments that we're going to remember for our whole lives. And hopefully all of this work does not go past the babies and they will grow up and teach their own babies how to do parties and make memories with them. The party was a huge success. Everyone showed up. Sophia got everything she wanted for and asked for for her birthday. It was so much fun celebrating Sophia. Um, it turned out great. The cupcakes were great. It worked out great with no cake and just doing cupcakes. Everyone loved the food. The chicken salad was bomb. It was a big hit. Everyone liked the pasta. Um, people did say that the texture of the bonza pasta, the chickpea pasta, was a little bit off. So I do recommend that recipe, the pasta recipe, but with different pasta noodles, like regular pasta noodles for sure. Um, everything turned out so well. Happy birthday, my sweet Sophia. Happy fourth birthday, baby girl. We love you. So every year, me and the girl's dad get together, and since we're co-parenting, we do take the kids out for their birthday dinners, and then we do a birthday breakfast. So now, me, Dee, the girls, and Maxwell, we're at a local restaurant in our city, and we're gonna take the girls out and Maxwell out for some brunch. There's a 35 minute wait, so we're waiting out on the balcony with the girls and Maxwell, but it feels really good outside. It's like 70 degrees, there's a little bit of a breeze, and we're just hanging out. Don't throw it on the floor, it's gonna get dirty.
Hi, Max. 